Uh, <clears throat> hi, Claudia. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Oh, How, How are, are you? you? Wow, long I'm... time no see. Thank you so yeah. much. Yes. Uh, well, I'm tired because today was a um, day, hard day because of the decision of close the airport. I and, know. Uh, a kind of instructions that all kind of type but um we are all working these days mm -hmm. uh, continue working and i don't know what why why it's go what what will happen next. what will we'll happen what, mm -hmm. what will happen the next days mm -hmm. Every day is a different day, right? So you yes. go by days. Changes um, every day. Did they send you to your house or did you stay at the no, uh, offices we working? Are at the airport. At the airport working, okay. Yeah. But I know there's a lot of decisions that are being taken right now. They're closing the airport, I think, by midnight, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. For security purposes and all that. So, well, let's hope that things get better because i heard like rumors even that molsa closed so a lot of people are worried because there's not going to be any bread anymore so if, if people are panicking and they're going into yes. like, chaos the bad information in in all parts and and maybe the psycho psychosis the psychosis yeah i know right yeah. like people get all scared and they like they've been making even you know fun of why people are buying uh, toilet paper like, yes. instead of buying food <laughs> instead of yes. buying food, right? So yeah, I have heard so many comments regarding that. So, <clears throat> but let's be positive. I think that I was talking to the class yesterday about this and telling them that I think it's something positive. The the world is you know the planet. We're giving a break to our planet less cars less pollution and especially we're spending more time quality time with our families so in a way i yes. think it's it's really really good right so we're we're home with our families and so i think that's something positive so taking the bright side yes. the the empathy the the union exactly we so we uh, uh, Sacamos, eh, we get out the best of us we, get we, out we take out we take out the best of us mm -hmm. we take yeah. out or get out the best of us yes yeah you're right thank you for sharing yeah. that thank you Fatima good evening how are you good evening hello how are you how was your day um it, it was hmm, such a uh, um i don't know how just to say movido <laughs> okay a lot very, of movement very busy mm -hmm. very busy you can say i had a busy yeah. day i yeah. had there was a lot of movement going on yes mm -hmm. a lot uh, i i choose a lot of movements going on okay a lot of movement the the technology it area yes it was super busy mm -hmm. um making all the oh. arrangements mm -hmm. for, for if we have to work at home remotely so but that's good i guess right like if you were to work from home i think that's a great or not really like yeah. you need to be <laughs> in the scenario in the area instead of working from home what's better to me is is Oh, way far good for good. Yeah, for I think for everybody. I even think Claudia would be happy to work from home, right, Claudia? <laughs> she would be very happy also to work from home. Yes, yes, teacher. It would be super good. I have the opportunity. So you guys are on the other side because I I spent my days here because I need to be in quarantine because I cannot go anywhere and teach because of you know what happened right uh, so I don't yes. know what's actually happening out there so I'm missing that fun part of 
what's going to happen? Where are they going to say? Are they going to dismiss us? Are they going to tell us to work from home? So I don't, I'm missing ah. that part. So I don't know. Like I'm, 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 I'm here in my house 24 seven. I just went out today, just buy some groceries and then come back. But I'm not buying a lot. I'm just buying what we're having for the day. So I'm going day by day, you know, but, but, but there is a lot of rumors, a lot of rumors. You are in home for what, what reason? You are in quarantine? You? No, no, no. I'm in quarantine oh. because I'm a teacher. So as a teacher, I cannot ah, go to you it. Don't, uh, yes. So they told us that for 30 days, we need to be here. So this program is the only one that is actually working. So uh, classes at Inglés Corporativo are closed. So because I have a class from 6 to 8 in the morning and then another one from 5 to 7 in the afternoon, Saturdays and Sundays too, and this one from 9 to 10. So those are like, those are my busy points, but I cannot go out. So I'm missing that fun part of being outside and checking out what's going on. But I'm, I was telling Claudia that I was really worried about Olsa closing because I really love bread and I, mm. I really <laughs> love pastry. So I'm worried, like what's going to happen? You know, I, I'm not a you, tortilla You person. have to change to pan sinai. <laughs> and I have to change to tortilla. A lot of people are like, oh, you have to change to tortilla. I'm sorry. Like, oh, okay. I'll it's time to learn to make pupusas. Yeah, it's time to do that. Yeah, <laughs> of course. So that's actually what's going to happen. Thank you, girls. Ricardo, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, okay. Or worse. <laughs> We're like into a witty, witty conversational, and then it's like, okay. Good. We're talking about <laughs> everything that Molsa is closing and all the changes that are going on. So, yeah. Who is closing? Molsa. Molsa. So, people are worried because there's not going to be any bread anymore. So, it's the rumor. It's just a rumor. I don't know how strong it is. But I'm worried because I really love uh, bread. But, but it's only for the for the situation of the right yeah. now. That's what I don't know. I don't know. I guess because <clears throat> it's a Salvadorian company, so I, I don't I don't think it's international yet. So I guess they're just closing for you know they're just putting their people into quarantine. But I don't know. But people are worried because there's not going to be a bread anymore by tomorrow. So people are buying a lot of bread and. Thing. so yeah especially those bread lovers like me baguette lovers like me you know i love baguette bread and all that but <laughs> anywho we'll see how it goes guys today as i told you yesterday we're gonna get started with pronunciation exercises we have a part in this uh unit two about syllable stress but i want to get started with something really fun how good are you at tongue twisters how good are you guys with, are you good with tongue with, twisters? With tongue? Like, like Pablito clavó un clavito para el inglés. Ah. Ah. Tongue twisters? How, how do you say it? Tongue? Like tongue twisters. They're called like this. See, tongue, tongue twisters. twisters. Ah, ah. Tongue twister. Ah. How good are you with them? <laughs> I'm really bad. Okay. It, well, in it Spanish. Depends, it depends I'm on the words. In Spanish, for me, it's very hard. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> so, so. So, so. Okay, we're gonna do a little exercise. If you guys have water handy, have it with you because doing this type of exercises will enhance your pronunciation, will make you speak a little bit faster in regards to your fluency. The idea is for me to give you as many exercises as I can for you to be able to practice, for you guys to be able to practice. I sent a book. I don't know if you guys received it. It's, it's yes. this is key. Guys, this training that I sent you, it's like $70 at any academy. It's the same material they use for American accent training. So to help you with pronunciation, um, a lot of the academies use it and they charge like $80. And you can have this for free. So that's the book Thanks. they use. And I'm going to send you the link to my drive so you can download the CDs or you can actually find it here on YouTube. I'm going to show you how. Before we go into that, Let's try to do some tongue twisters. Actually, the book that I shared with you has a couple of them. It has some tongue twisters that you can actually do on your own, okay? Let's check out the okay. Good chances to practice your pronunciation. Let's go. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Try that one. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. 
Sally sold Sally sold by the seashells seashore. by the seashore. The idea with tongue twisters is this is like Pablito Clavo faster. Clavito. Faster. Yeah. So you start faster. doing it and then you start going faster and faster and faster, right? The idea is for you to like run through your words. So you start Sally sold seashells by the seashore, and then you start Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. So the idea is for you to right to sometimes to exercise I, I bite muscles. my tongue. And, and that's good. That's a good exercise. <laughs> Even if you bite your tongue, don't worry. It's part of the exercise. <laughs> it's just the fact that whenever we enunciate, we do not open up our mouths. We just keep it like there, very close, like if yeah. we were smoking. Yeah, yeah, like speaking like that. So <laughs> the idea is for you to articulate and enunciate the words better, okay? So let's see. Claudia, try it, please. So we're going to go Claudia, Fatima, and then Ricardo. Okay. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Very good. Fatima? Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Very good. Ricardo? Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's try another Sally one. sold seashells by the seashore. This one's difficult because of the s and sh sounds. <laughs> Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Some butter, but let's she said the... One. Let's try the next one, which is Betty, Betty butter, but some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. This is a little bit longer. It's quite difficult because there's many buh, 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 buh. Betty butter. Betty butter. But. But. Some, some butter. Some butter. But she, she said, said. Remember that when you have an A, 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 I, it's A, eh, como sed, tengo sed. So, sed. but she said, uh -huh. the butter's the bitter. Butter's bitter. So that's where you, see, whenever you create that connection between two words, that's whenever you make a liaison, okay? So it's making a liaison is connecting words together, like running them through. Butter's bitter, butter's bitter. So it's Betty's butter, Betty butter, but some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. So that's where you connect both words. Try it, Claudia. Betty butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's beer. Very good, Fatima. Berry butter, but some butter, but she said the butter is bitter. Butter is bitter. Very good. The T, the T becomes an R always in English. That's a golden rule. I think I've mentioned this before in the intermediate one, but for you guys that are new, uh, the T in English becomes an R all the time. Okay. Bitter. Okay. Ricardo, try it. Berry butter, but some butter, but she said the butter, the butter is bitter. Very good. Connected. Butter is bitter. Uh-huh. Okay, butter's bitter. Very good. Let's try another one. Nico. Nico. Oh, this is a difficult one. If a woodchuck could chuck wood. Try it. The next tug twister is also a classic one about woodchucks. Woodchucks are real creatures that exist on the west coast of the United States, primarily. In FYI, that's the reason why I wanted to play this all the way this far, because a lot of people always ask me, what's a woodchuck? So it's like, I don't know if it's in Spanish called marmota, but it's pretty much the one that has the two long teeth. So I'm not really sure what the name of that animal is, but I think it's like a marmota. It's like a, a beaver. A yeah, like the one that actually, they, I don't know if they eat it or they just chew it. Quite like a squirrel with the almonds, but they do it with trees or anything that's related to wood in Washington and Oregon, uh, they're like beavers, but they don't live like in rivers. Beavers. They there live in like forests beavers. and rocks. The tongue twister is, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How, mu <laughs> how much oh. wood would a woodchuck chuck <laughs> if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How That's a very difficult wood. one. How much yeah. wood? Let's try it. How much wood? How much wood? How would a woodchuck? Would a woodchuck? Would a woodchuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. With a woodchuck. With a woodchuck. With a woodchuck. Let's go one by one. Okay, let's. We're gonna start all the way around. We're gonna start with Ricardo, and then we're gonna go with Fatima and then Claudia. Ricardo, try it. Try to read it. Okay. How much wood will a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Okay, the wood it will always be wood. Even the other wood for questions would you like to go to the cinema that wood this wood would always be as this wood it's the same pronunciation it only changes in the context 
So this is okay. Buenas Maneras and the other one's Buenas Possibility, right? Um, so the pronunciation is the same. So how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? That U becomes an uh chuck, like umbrella, umbrella. So it's an uh umbrella, uh chuck, okay? So it's the same sound. Try it again, Rican. Okay. How much wood will a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could shoot wood? Chuck. Remember, it's very enunciated. Chuck. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? So chuck, chuck, chuck. That's the pronunciation. Um, chuck, chuck. I call it ch as chalate. Hi, Rosie. Good evening. Ch good chuck. evening. Chuck. 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 Very good. Uh -huh. Very strong. Very strong. Okay. Fatima, try it. Give it a try now. Um. How much would a would a would a would chuck chuck if a would chuck could chuck wood? Very good. How much wood would a would chuck chuck if a would chuck could chuck wood? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. Claudia, give it a try. How much wood would a would chuck chuck if a would chuck could chuck wood? Very good. Very good. Remember, wood and wood. Even though sometimes it happens, don't pay attention on how it's written. Pay attention on the pronunciation, okay? Even though you have to have in mind whenever you have to write it, but um, have in mind that the pronunciation is the same with wood and wood. Mm -hmm. So how much wood okay. would a wood chuck chuck? A wood chuck could chuck wood. So it's pretty much chuck and wood. Those are your two words that you have to pay attention on. Rosie, wanna give it a try? To this, Pablito Clavón Clavito, tongue twister? <laughs> Más o menos, ahí. Dice, how much good, good, a uh, good chuck, chuck is a good chuck called chuck good. Remember that the U, very good, Rosie, very good. Remember that the U becomes an O all the time. So, oh. how much wood would a wood chuck instead of chuck, chuck? Okay, oh. if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Give it a try again, okay. Rosie. How much gold, gold, a uh, gold chuck, chuck is a gold chuck, cool chuck wood. Excellent, very good. See, it's difficult. I know it's just a matter of practice. There's even a song there that you can actually Google it, like tongue twisters, and there's a song. And that the idea with the song is to make you go faster and faster. You might say, this is nonsense. And I, I used to think that when I was little, when I was like in kindergarten or in elementary school, I remember when I was at, at school and I remember my teacher, um, she was from, or I had a teacher, she was from, one from Oregon and the other one from Indiana. She used to tell us, you have, if you learn tongue twisters, believe me, your pronunciation and you know, you're gonna exercise, the idea with that is to exercise your muscles by the time you pronounce it, you're not going to get stuck whenever you say words and enunciate them. Because sometimes what happens is that our mouths are very lazy. So these exercises help us do that, exercise our, our mouth to enunciate better, okay? okay. Let's go with another one. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Check another one. The last one, maybe. Oh, this one. Tan, tan, tan. Watch which watch. If two witches would watch two watches, which witch would watch which watch? <laughs> it's very difficult. <laughs> because of, it's very difficult for us. If two witches would watch two watches, which which, same pronunciation, would watch which watch? Try it. Who wants to give it a try? Witches will watch two watches, which which will watch which watch. Uh -huh. If two witches would watch two watches, which which would watch which watch. If you notice, if you listen to me, it's pretty much the same pronunciation for which which, mm -hmm. which watch, right? It's pretty much the same. It's just changing the context in where I'm going to be using it. Which as an option or which is in a brujita, right? Or mm -hmm. So it's, it's the same pronunciation, okay? Claudia, wanna give it a try? Okay. Um, if the witches will watch two watches, which witch will watch which watch? Very good. Thank you. Fatima, give it a try. 
If two witches will watch two witches, with which will watch which watch. Excellent, Rosie. I like it. You're doing it with confidence. Ricardo and then Rosie. If two witches will watch two watches, which witch will watch which watch. Very good, very good. Rosie? If two witches will watch two watches, which witch will watch which watch. Very good. Great job, guys. Awesome. Yeah. Yay! You see, this is part of the, uh, that's the reason why I ask you to have water. If you have water, please drink water because you're going to need it a lot for the upcoming exercises, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you able to see my PowerPoint presentation or no? No. Okay. I'm going to share. We're watching YouTube. Okay. There you go. Can you see it now? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, so I, I came up with something. Um, I, I found something very interesting um, in previous classes and it's regarding patterns. Sometimes pronunciating long words or short words is quite difficult, okay? So I found three rules that are very, very important. And I want to go over, especially over the second one, which is the one that I'm going to be focusing a lot, which is that for words that end with T-I-O-N, S-I-O-N, or C-I-A-R, okay, the stress syllable comes just before the ending for this type of words. For example, all the words that you see here on my presentation, all the words that you see here right now on your screen are going to be shun, okay? So whether they end with C-I-A-N, S-I-O-N or T-I-O-N, okay? Yeah? Okay. So let's try to practice, okay? So uh, let's see, who wants to do C-I-A-N? Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Do it. Be beautician. 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 Electrician. Magician. Magician. Ma Mathematician. Mathematician, uh huh. Musician. Musician, very good. Opti opti optician. 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 Pediatrician. Politician. And the other one I don't see. Te technician. Technician. Technician, I would be because of this. Okay. Technician, very good. Okay, very good. Who wants to do S-I-O-N? I will try. Okay, go ahead. Collision, confusion, confusion, mission, mission, decision, mission. okay, mm -hmm. television, explosion, tension, compassion, mm -hmm. mention, mention, and um by vision vision which is vision. related to the eyes vision very good okay t-i-o-n who wants to help me and then i'm going to go one by one mm -hmm. i can okay go ahead thank you it's a addition addition okay caution mm -hmm. celebration mm -hmm. decoration direction Education, frustration, invitation, um, subtraction. Sub subtraction, and vacation. Okay, so if you see, it's not the same how you read them that actually whenever, okay, so it, there's, there's a difference in when, where we read them in a way we think they are and actually how the way it's pronounced in American accent training. In American accent training, it's very sassy, very like what we call in Spanish fresa. Uh, it's very exaggerated, the sound. For example, we, in, we say vacation, but it's actually vacation. For example, just to give you an example. So we never say, I'm going on vacation. I'm going on vacation. So American accent is it's exaggerating. It's making it very Americanized. So it's not vacation, it's vacation. It's not education is education it's like a j there's a j there education okay, okay. direction direction which direction are you taking are you going north south east or west okay direction 
and then we say caution it's caution caution so what, what we do is we take caution. when it caution so whenever we have two words um, i'm sorry two letters two vowels like au we take the strongest sound and we don't we don't say uh, the vowel separately. We pick one, the one that sounds stronger than the other one. So it's caution or caution. Oh, it's ca so it's better to say caution. So you go with the strongest sound according to you. For addition, also addition, celebration, decoration, okay? Frustration, the O becomes like an O. Uh, frustration, invitation, that would be another one. And subtraction, it's exaggerated, right? The sounds you exaggerate sounds in English. Subtraction. Then for S-I-O-N, it's collision. So, well now, when it, this is when you have, I was explaining with caution when you have two vowels that are different one another. Now, whenever you have a single vowel, like whenever you say no, so, go, that's Spanish. But if you wanna take it to the American accent training, you would say, you would extend the sound of a single vowel. So in this case, like coalition, no. We would say coalition. So there's an imaginary U to extend the sound of the O. Or whenever you say go, you don't say you use a single vowel. We have to extend that sound and say go. Or no, you would say no. Okay, so in this case, it would be coalition. Okay, confusion, decision, explosion, mansion see, see how i am extending my sounds because of 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 whenever i have single single vowel sounds yeah you there yeah. yes okay just give me one quick minute just give me a minute just I'm sorry, my, my computer's running out of battery. <laughs> okay, so as I was telling you, so in this case, um, you have to, whenever you have single vowels, you have to extend the sounds, okay? So, so instead of saying go, you would say go. Instead of saying no, you would say no. So you in English, you have to exaggerate the sound to sound a little bit more Americanized in some, some way, okay, there. Now, C-I-A-N, this one is a very difficult one. It's the same shun, but it's used for professions, mainly, as you can see there, like musician or uh, politician or optician, beautician. If you see, it's pretty much, and you see the, all the C-I-Ns are usually used for, a, for professions, right? Uh-huh. Okay. It's difficult. It's just more like a matter of practice. I don't want you to focus on the words that we we already know. And this is something I'll repeat in every class. I want you to focus on the new words for you. Can you tell me which ones from the list are new words for you? The ones that you don't use that much. Because, for example, you might use the word decision. You might use the word uh, musician. Or you might use the word decoration. But which are the words that you just do not use that often? Can you mention some of them? Uh, optician. 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 Yeah. Um, dietitian. Okay, dietitian. Uh huh. Okay, very good. Coalition. Coalition. <laughs> coalition. You see, co you have to accent. Coalition. coalition. It's another way of saying coalition. Yeah, you exaggerate. It sounds weird, coalition. but you have to accept coalition. Uh -huh. You have to exaggerate okay. the sound. Which means like crash, mm -hmm. coalition. Which other? Holding? Oh. Coalition. Coalition, yeah, you have to extend the O sound. It's the same with explosion. You don't say explosion. Explosion. Oh. Mansion, you see you have single vowels and you have to extend the vowel. Mm -hmm. Now, mansion, mansion. Decision, decision. So, coalition, confusion. Mm -hmm. Confusion, very good. 
And this happens with single vowel sounds. Now, there's another rule that I found very interesting, which is when you stress the first syllable or whenever you stress the second syllable, okay? So you usually stress the first syllable when you have nouns, adjectives, and adverbs. For example, you don't say parent. My parents' names are, for example, you would say parent. Mm -hmm. Parent. Instead of that, a parent. becomes an e, and since it's a singular, parent. only one vowel you would extend the e, so you would say parent. parent. So you don't parent. say parent, parent. 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 Very good. Parent. parent. Mm -hmm. parent. To talk about nouns. What about adjectives? You want to say quiet? No, you have to say quiet. See, you're extending quiet. also, even though you have two, but you're taking the strongest vowel to extend the sound as well. And then right. seldom, which it means very, not, not a lot. Okay, seldom. For example, seldom. I like tortillas seldom. I just don't really like them. I like more bread than, than tortillas. So it's a seldom. Okay, and seldom. the other one, when I, this is when you stress at the beginning for a syllable, when you have two syllables, pair. Rent. So you have to stress on the first one, parent, if that's the one that's going to be raised, yeah. or quiet, seldom, okay? Seldom. Now, when you have verbs, you have to uh, stress on the second syllable, like this one, embrace, okay? Embrace, embrace. Yes, embrace. Now, I was able to find a couple of other rules on something that I did was this, and I'm sorry, I had to show this picture because I've I'm gonna miss it if they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> you are missing Moisa right um, now. Yeah, I know. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna miss it so much. <laughs> okay, so I was able to Google, and this is something that you can also do because sometimes you're gonna start doubting where to stress, where not to stress. But I would say go ahead and check out the syllable stress pronunciation rule. Sometimes here it will give you, for example, whenever you have two syllables or three syllables or four syllables in a word where you need to raise up the, your tone of voice, where it needs to go up. For example, if you have two syllables, like in this case, you don't say section, you would say section. But if you have three syllables, it will go in the middle. So the longer the word, usually you shrink it. When the word is very short, like you're talking about no, go, so, you would extend the sound to make it longer. Now, whenever you have a long word, like chocolate, in English you'd say chocolate, no. So you'd say cha, Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. 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 Yeah. Chocolate. 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 There's chocolate. no food. there's no choco or chocolate. chocolate. So it's just cha and clet. So it's like you're having two. Chocolate. 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 There you go. And that's American accent training. Chocolate. Or comfortable. You take comfortable. 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 So you see, the word is very long and you tend to. Comfortable. 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 There you go. Comfortable. Uh -huh. So you would shrink the sounds, okay? Uh, okay? For this one, you have whenever it's two syllables, three syllables, and so on. So this is the type of exercise that I, want, I wanted you to. Um, things that I want you to start looking up to improve your pronunciation. All the resources are for free. You don't need to pay for them. And you just get examples and you can also, like I showed you the other time, the other day, if you don't know how a word is pronounced, just Google it and we'll give you the pronunciation on Google, on, on, on Google, but not the translator. Don't go with the translator. Just go with Google meaning and that's it. And then you're gonna get the, the pronunciation for each word. Now, I gave you guys a book and I want you to go ahead and uh, if you can, can you open up page 58 from the book? If you can do so. 58. Yes, it's the PDF. Um, I don't know. Are you able to see it on my screen? Okay. Can you see it? Yes. That says exercise 1 53. And you have the word today. Can you can you all see it? Yes. 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 Okay, okay, great. So if you can open I'm going to send you the audio for this one. Oh, we're going to do the pronunciation with the teacher along, okay? The girl who actually created this material that I wanted to show you. This is a, a free resource. I have it also. Um, if you go to 
go to YouTube, you can find the CD I'm going to show you. If you need the CD for that book, you can go American Accent Training. It will give you actually the CD, the complete CD. Or I can send you the link, okay? okay. But, but I have it. Here it is. I have it on my drive. So if you need it, I can give you access to my drive. Just send me um, your email or I can give you my email. I don't know. No, you have to give me your email so I can add you to the folder where every audio book has this. The book will actually have CD2 track 26. So it's the one that we're going to be doing, which is this one, CD2, and this is track 26. So it actually goes a track by track. But on, on YouTube, you're going to find the whole CD all at once. CD1, mm -hmm. CD2, and I have it by tracks. So you can practice the pronunciation on your own. I'm going to okay. show you that the exercise that we're going to do right now. It's very important. It's key. Uh, for pronunciation, for example, it's, I want you to start running your words through. Uh, the first one, how do you say that word? How do you read it? Can you tell me this one, the first one, this one? That I'm today. 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 And actually, today. it goes today. 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 <laughs> There's an, like an R sound there. Today. 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 Like saying today. 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 Mm. Today. today. So it's not today. today. It's today. 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 Good. So we're going to do the audio together. So I want you to listen to her, but on your own, I want you to repeat after her. It's a very long list. It just takes like one or two minutes to go through it. She goes fast, but the, the idea is for you to just exercise with it, okay? So let's okay. do it together. Let me just play the audio. Ready? Exercise 153. Read aloud from the right-hand column. The intonation is marked for you. 2. Today. Tonight. Today. Tomorrow. Tonight. Tonight. To work. Tomorrow. To school. Tomorrow. To the store. Tomorrow. We have to go now. He went to work. They hope to find it. I can't wait to find out. We don't know what to do. Don't jump to conclusions. To be or not to be. Didn't get to go. He told me to help. She told you to get it. I go to work. At a quarter to two. The only way to get it is... You've got to pay to get it. We plan to do it. Let's go to lunch. The score was four to six. It's the only way to do it, so to speak. I don't know how to say it. Go to page eight. Show me how to get it. You need to know when to do it. To blame. At. We're at home. I'll see you at lunch. Dinner's at five. Leave him at the door. The meeting's at one. He's at the post office. They're at the bank. He's at the post office. They're at the bank. They're at the bank. They're at the bank. Um, it was just I'm part too. of it. Did you see how, how she connects her words through? Yeah. Like, yes. Okay, so dinner's five, and that's something else. We have, to, we have to enunciate. Whenever we're speaking, we have to enunciate. And actually something that helps is not just moving your hands, but also like singing your words through. That's what pronunciation is all about. It's not the same as saying dinner at five then say dinner's at five like inviting someone right i know it's exaggerated we're not very used to and then again i go back to cartoons if you check out cartoons your kids love cartoons but if you check them out place sap on it and in english and you're going to know how they exaggerate that's why our new generations our kids speak like mickey mouse or they speak like peppa pig or they sleep they they speak like paw patrols like and even Dora, mm -hmm. I, I usually use a dora you know Oh, are you coming 
to play with me today? You know, that enunciation, that's the perfect enunciation we should be having. And okay. it, it helps us out because that's the way we should be speaking to put emotions into our words, right? So this is part of what I wanted to show you today, the exercise that I wanted to show you today. And it's because it's very necessary. This book is really good, okay? It actually shows us, remember the other day we were talking about there's a difference between the White House and the White House. A White House could be anywhere and the White House is the emblematic White House. So it's very important where we're stressing out our words because they can mean something very different. And this book, it's really complete in regards to that. It has a lot of exercises that you can go through and everything's related to just pronunciation. It's super old school, I'm sorry, but I love it. It's really good for pronunciation. How do we send you uh, our emails? Oh, on, on the WhatsApp group. If you want, you can just type it there on the WhatsApp group. And I can... Hold on. Or, or I can do it in this precise moment with you guys as well. Let me go back and let me see. Let's see. Or I can do it. Um, I'm gonna share the entire folder because I have the books and I also have the I have the books and I have the CDs here. Okay. Let me write your emails. Can you give me your emails? Clau.lorenita. Are you looking at my screen? Uh, I, I don't know the word. At? Dash. Uh, Gmail.com. Dot com. Dot com. I forgot. How do you? Alt 64, right? Oh, there. Yeah. Now, dot Lorenita at Gmail. Gmail.com. Are you looking at my screen? Can you yes. see? Yes. Okay. Can you see how I'm writing your email? Yes, it's correct. Okay. Tell me if you received the... The mine okay. is... Hold on, I'm going to... Okay, what's yours? Yes, Fatima. Dot Sanchez Montoya. Yes, teacher, I receive it. Arro arroba at gmail.com. I always forget how to do the... Oh, you can chip and two, or alt graphic and two. Yeah, I don't know why, what's going on with my... Keep keyboard. I usually do it this way, but I don't know why. Oh, this, there you go. Fatima Sanchez Montoya at Gmail, right? Yeah. Tell me if you're able to receive it. Okay, Ricardo and your email? I got it. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Uh, sorry, yes. R. Palma. I don't know how, to, how you say it, uh, lower line. Underscore? Underscore line. <gasps> okay. You yeah. got me there because I don't know how to, how do you do underscore with your keyboard? Um, Chip and and the key for the for the cue mark. I I was looking for it. This is that this is a new. I'm sorry. This is my new lab. What I do is I this. I just copy from Google. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Because I haven't found, you know, it's easier because I haven't had the opportunity to, I'm sorry, the pastry again. Where is it? Are you? <laughs> there you go. It's okay. So it's R. Palma, 
underscore. Right? Ricardo? Hello? Are you there? Maybe he's missing. He left. I sent you my email on the on WhatsApp. Um, but if you wanted Aldo dot Castro. <laughs> okay, Aldo dot Castro. Uh huh. Number nine. Under uh, underscore. No, number nine. Ah, okay, number nine. Uh huh. At gmail dot com. At gmail. The rate, the rate has space in night. Yeah, I was uh -huh. noticing. That's mine. So it's Aldo dot Castro. Aldo dot Castro, yes. Nine and tell me if you receive it. If not, I can resend it. Okay. Okay. Tell me if you receive it. And Ricardo. Or am I missing somebody else? Or I can no, share that. My email is Ronnie. Okay. R O N White. Just give me a minute. Um, there. Okay, R O N Y, Ronnie. Underscore. Mm -hmm. Monterosa. With C. At hotmail at hotmail that dot com. Tell me if you receive it. If Thank not, you. I can send it. Okay, please. So the idea with this is for you to actually listen to the exercises and do it. It's super good for you to practice. Okay. Anybody else? Am I missing anybody else? Uh, me. My email is Steph. Like this? No, P H. Mm -hmm. uh, one six. One six. E S C. Uh, arroba, gmail dot com. At gmail. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay, very good. Now that we're talking about that, anybody else? Am I missing somebody else? No? Okay, and now that I'm talking about Yes, am I missing somebody else? No? Hey, teacher. Well, can you just give me, give me your email? Hi, me. Huh? Can you share your email? What's your email? Uh, Breadette.com. Say it again. I B -R -E -H. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that for some reason I'm not able to see the chat right now? B R? E Bea? Like Bea. Like that, please. I write in the chat. Okay. Let me see. Okay, hold on. Is that when I have shared my screen, I don't know why, but I can't really um, check the chats. I don't know why. Um, okay, let me see. Teacher, I send you for appropriate, authorized. The, uh, Yes, I will do it right now. Can't see the chats. I'm sorry. For some reason, I'm unable to see the chats right now. Maybe because I have too many windows open. I'll see you later. But if you want, uh, if you want, send it on WhatsApp, and I'll add you later on. Okay? Pinky promise. 
write write it on WhatsApp, and I'm going to uh, share it with you in a couple of minutes, okay? Because I, I don't have access to it for some reason. Okay, so guys, going back to going back to um, where's the share? Going back to what I was telling you, okay. Um, one of the things that I want you to do is do a lot of practice. Go with tongue twisters. Uh, follow this teacher, the one that we were doing. She's really good with tongue twisters. That's the reason why I played this video before. This is the American accent training, but it's all at once. And I'm sending you tracks one by one, depending on the exercise you want to do and focus on. Um, girl, <laughs> did you write these? Did you write these? Did you find these on the internet? And follow her. Her name is hold on. Learn English with English Class 101. Um, she has really good English videos, very good at pronunciation. That way you can add her. Aside from Super Holly, from Rachel English, she's really good. She had she op she talks about many topics. Okay, um, and um, I like it. See. It has top 25 phrases, nouns. She has even a, a tongue twister challenge. Um, very good video. So if you can follow her, the her, uh, it's, I have, I'm not even subscribed with Google because this is not my user. It's Inglés Corporativo that I want to be using. But I think I'm subscribed under my user, but I, I really like her. Uh, learn English with EnglishClass101.com. I'll send you the link to the group as well later on. And the other one that I was telling you about was, uh, I think I have shared this with you before, right? The Rachel English, yes? Have I shared this one? Her pronunciation, have I shared her? Have you seen her before? No. Oh, okay. No. Maybe with another no. You're in the right place. You belong here. Okay, Having so, a conversation in English. So this is, this is a teacher who started off with American accent training. So she has a lot and she has the exercises on where to put your tongue how to pronounce how to enunciate etc um, so she has exercises on how to improve your pronunciation very good her name is rachel english that's how her channel is called rachel english um what else what else what else yeah i did show you i did show you miss holly right also i did show her did I? Not that I remember. Okay. <laughs> or Super Holly. I think it's called Super Holly. She's another teacher. She has side topics, but the ones that are really good to, to use for English are the ones that I would. What I really don't like about her, particularly, but this is just personally, it's the fact that she does it Spanish and English because it's for mm -hmm. beginners. So she does it both ways. She has a very good pronunciation. Hola amigos, yo soy Holly or Miss Holly. Welcome to today's English class. She uses a lot of Spanglish. So in a way, if you're like in, at an intermediate level or advanced, in a way, it's fun. But the idea is for the entire uh, video to be in English. That way you can practice. But I know her. she does it because she's Mexican. She's half Mexican and, you know, half American. So the idea is for her to actually share this with people who are actually learning the language, right? But her videos are very good. She has a very good video about brands, because usually we don't know how to pronounce brands, like Colgate instead of Colgate, Nike instead of Nike, okay, and so on. So she has a very good um, a channel, so check it out. Um, just focus on the English ones because she has also other channels. I mean, a channel related to her personal life with her husband and her trips and, and other side topics. So yeah, but her English videos are really, really good. The, that's something else that I wanted to show you also for you to do. And the part of, of doing this exercise is because they're going to help you a lot. Okay. 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 And the tongue twisters, don't forget. Actually, the book that I shared with you, this book, guys, has a lot of tongue twisters. I think okay. they're all the way. Oh, see, it's a lot of material, a lot of exercises. And usually they are, some of them are here at the end and some of them are between the, between the lessons. You can find them there. Um, stories and exercises that you can actually do. 
if you do it, if you follow this book, it will help your pronunciation a lot. I can guarantee that because I've worked with this book in the past uh, for American for, for pronunciation only. And believe me, I have seen a great improvement. And that's something that we always complain. We always say, oh, yeah, I have this Sofia Vergara accent. And, I'm, and I told you, it's something you can actually correct just by practicing. It's just a matter of practicing. Okay. And the more you practice, the better you guys get, okay? Do you have Thank any you questions? Too. You're welcome. You're so, so welcome, guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me, okay? Please be safe. Please buy bread uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> before Thank they close. <laughs> okay. Have a wonderful night, and I see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. See you tomorrow, okay, teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, Have good a good night. night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Be safe. You too, guys. Good night, bye, everyone. Ronnie. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Guys. bye. Work on the platform, bye. please, okay? Bye, Sadi. Yes. Bye, Ricardo. Bye, Wilbur. Bye. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good, good night. night, teacher. Good night. Bye, bye guys. Bye, everyone. You're I will welcome. try to be at, to be tomorrow at, at class because tomorrow I have to, to work. Okay. But if you can listen to us or you can check us out on the on the YouTube channel, that's fantastic, okay? Okay. I'll try. Okay. Okay. See you later. Bye. See you later. Bye.